Here are the things that Dwayne used on my hair when I had my Diva Cut and Style. Build Up Buster by Diva Curl, the original No Poo by Diva Curl, and the original Conditioner by Diva Curl. Then there is a, a curveball with a product that is non Diva Curl, but it's Design Essentials Curl Enhancing Mousse. Dwayne says he loves this product, and when I looked it up, it's available at Sally's and uh, actually on the Natural Curly, Naturally Curly website, as well as a few other places, um, but it looks great. It has um, an avocado and olive oil, I think, combination. Um, anyway, it does have some silicones in it, but they're the PEG silicone, so they're Curly Girl approved, or at least Curly Girl friendly. If you look on Curl's Bot, it may actually tell you that um, it is with caution but um, as I understand it those products are okay and it is a personal choice if you want to use those so then we're back to the diva curl products with the believe in be leave in <laughs> and also the Archangel gel Dwayne just suggests that after you condition that you use a curling mousse along with the believe in and I have just picked up the Believe In and I will be trying this in the proper order to see if I can achieve the same results at home. Uh, then he just suggests to use some styling cream to define the curls and prevent frizz, squeeze out any of the extra water, coat the ends with gel and then some of the individual curls as well, and then scrunch and diffuse. So um, the order of the products is the Build Up Buster, the No Poo Original Cleanser, the Original Conditioner, um, and then Design Essentials Curl Enhancing Mousse, which is a non-Diva Curl product, and then the Believe In and the Archangel Gel. So the Believe In is kind of misleading by its title. Um, it is not a leave-in conditioner. It's actually a curl plumper, and I understand that to be something like a curl enhancer. So my favorite, if you've seen some of my other videos, is Uncle Funky's Curly Magic, and I think I will always be an Uncle Funky's girl, but I also am one who likes to switch up their products occasionally because I do think your hair kind of gets used to what you're putting on it and the kinds of products that you're using um, and so it's nice to switch it up now and again. I also make some changes based on the weather so it's been really rainy here in Nashville which feels like forever <laughs> but it's been really rainy lately so um, there are also some anti-humidity products that uh, I pull out. The Wee Dad or um, the Wee Dad um, gel is one that I've also been experimenting with. So I hope this video is informative. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Make sure you check out the description box so that you can find out the step-by-step -step process involved in doing the style after my Diva Cut and for the contact information for both of these fabulous stylists, Mark Hartman at Cognito Salon and also Dwayne Richards at Eclipse Salon, both of them here in Nashville. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.